Instead of playing in the major leagues, Bertman devoted his baseball career to coaching. He established himself as a premier coach at Miami Beach High. Then in 1976, joined Ron Frazier on the University of Miami staff. Kane's announcer, Jay Rokich. When he came over from Miami Beach High School, where he had been the head coach and the legend on, on the beach, uh, Skip was probably more popular than Joe Stone Crabs. When Skip came to Miami uh, as my assistant, I think that uh, the program jumped a big notch, and uh, Skip had a lot to do with the success of the Canes, you know, during the time that he was there. In Skip's eight seasons as a Hurricanes assistant and later associate head coach, Miami reached the College World Series six times. Along the way, he developed a long list of outstanding pitchers, among them Hall of Famers Neil Heaton, Randy Guerra, and tonight's other inductee for baseball, Danny Smith. He had the right disposition, you know, he was kind of a laid-back kind of guy, but he knew and he had self-confidence, he felt like he knew the game and he did know the game, and he could teach. He was a good teacher, and he taught players how to play the game, and uh, it, we were a good combination. I would easily say that for those eight years that Miami had as dynamic of a coaching staff, better than Batman and Robin, and uh, that the Fraser Burtman years were about as good as you could get at the University of Miami. And Bertman had the added responsibility of overseeing the Hurricanes when Frazier was busy orchestrating the promotions the program became known for. I think sometimes he shook his head at some of the promotions that we did. I remember the, we did the $5,000 plate dinner, and he said, I can't believe this. That night he said, I can't believe this. Coach. He said, we're on the middle of a baseball field. He said, we're going to have dinner. And he said, and, the, and there was, of course, there were uh, guys playing the, the, the violins, and, and there was a guy playing a harp on, on, on the mound with a white tuxedo with flowers all around. But we had a lot of laughs and a lot of fun. But in 1984, Bertman moved on, accepting the head coaching position at Louisiana State. He immediately turned the LSU program around. You knew he was going to go down there and do a good job. Uh, it took him, you know, just a, a short time to get it where he wanted to. And uh, they gave him the support, and that was a big thing. And, uh, and he was a, was a real baseball coach, and they hadn't seen that in a long time down there at LSU. And, uh, and what happens is good players, that they certainly have good athletes in that state, they just flocked when they heard that Skip was there and they saw the program he was putting together.